Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for clicking in. So today I'm bringing you this nice math problem that I want us to solve all the values of x when given x to the power of 4 minus 625 is equal to 0. What is the value of x? So what shall we do here? We are going to make x and 625 to have the same power. So then x to the power of 4 minus 625 we can write it as 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 0 so we are going to write this in the form of a perfect square whereby x squared all this squared we can write it as x to the power of 4 minus 5 squared all this squared is just the same as 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now you can see this is in this form a squared minus b squared which we can as well write it as a plus b into a minus b. So we are going to express this into this form whereby our a is x squared and our b is 5 squared. So let's do that. So x squared plus b which is 5 squared into bracket then bracket x squared minus 5 squared is equal to 0 okay so we are going to take this and equate it with 0 this and equate it with 0 x squared plus 5 squared into bracket is equal to 0 then x squared minus 5 squared is equal to 0. So you can see we have x squared minus 5 squared is equal to 0. This is a perfect square. So we are going to take x plus 5 into bracket x minus 5 is equal to 0. So here we shall have two solutions x plus 5 is equal to 0 x minus 5 is equal to 0 so the first value of x here is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 5 so we have two values of x x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 5 so this is our first solution then we have from this point here we have x squared plus 5 squared is equal to 0. So then we are going to take x squared plus 5 squared. This gives us 25 is equal to 0. So then x squared is equal to negative 25. To get the value of x, we are going to square root this side and square root this side as well. So this square will cancel with the square root x is equal to square root 25 times negative 1. x is equal to the square root of 25, this is plus or minus 5, and the square root of negative 1, this is imaginary. So the square root of negative 1 is equal to imaginary. So from this point, we have two solutions. x is equal to positive 5 imaginary or x is equal to negative 5 imaginary. So these two are our complex solution. Then we have x is equals to negative 5 or x is equals to 5. These are our real solution. So let us write all the values of x. So x is equal to 5, x is equal to negative 5 x is equal to 5 imaginary, x is equal to negative 5 imaginary. So all these are our four solutions. So remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Don't forget to share with your learning colleagues. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.